Well hello there, welcome to Worship This Week. It's a real joy and a pleasure to be with you. These are strange and uncertain days, I'm sure you would agree with me. But today we're going to just come and use this time to worship God, to spend time in his presence and to praise him. And our first song today is from our Salvation Army songbook, it's number 486. The words are, be glad in the Lord and rejoice. And the song is very matter of fact. It describes some circumstances that might be up against us. But let's just know the fact that we can rejoice and be glad in God. Let's sing these words together. <laughs> sing. We're just going to join together in prayer. Do please join with us. Father God, we just thank you today for the opportunity that we have of coming into your presence. Lord, these are challenging days and so we want to be honest before you and to say, Lord, that we do especially need our help. We can think of people within our own lives, our friends and relations, people within our community families who have lost loved ones and Lord we want to pray for people now that the people who need to will just feel your blessing and your arms around them. Lord I pray that you will bind us together, keep us together in your love. Help us to be able to hear your blessings that you have for us today through this worship and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well today is the 22nd of November. It is the Sunday before Advent begins and um, traditionally I believe this Sunday is called Stir Up Sunday. So 
Um, I don't know how many of you have been making Christmas puddings or Christmas cakes over these past few weeks. Um, your arms might have got a stronger as you've been stirring up the actual pudding mixture. But today is the day traditionally when um, Christians used to pray, stir up our hearts, we beseech thee, O Lord. And we um, want to think a little bit about that today and what it actually means. We want to pray that God will stir up our wills and our hearts so that we might hear what he has to say to us. It seems to me that this time that life has been truly stirred up and I think it has. Perhaps you feel that everything in your life has been stirred up and is coming clattering down into a right, a right heap. Well, if that is you, there is good news. And so we're going to hear the good news today from, from our Bible reading. And um, we're going to read today Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. Christ is the visible likeness of the invisible God. He is the firstborn son superior to all created things. For through him God created everything in heaven and on earth. The seen and the unseen things, including spiritual powers, lords, rulers and authorities. God created the whole universe through him and for him. Christ existed before all things, and in union with him, all things have their proper place. He is the head of his body, the church. He is the source of his body's life. He is the firstborn son who was raised from death, in order that he alone might have first place in all things. For it was by God's own decision that the Son has in himself the full nature of God. Amen. Amen. Well, we thank Maisie and Davy May for those words. We're going to sing together again right now. It's song number 383 in our Salvation Army songbook. It's a song by Graham Kendrick entitled Meekness and Majesty.
well they're lovely words aren't they to be singing together and at this point I just want to um, bring you some announcements and also to thank you for your giving and the gift QR code will appear on the screen as it does every week thank you so much for your support of our work um, our Christmas present appeal continues to go well people are being very kind to us and also we're getting um, requests for presents coming in so if you know of anybody who um, is going to struggle um, to basically provide Christmas presents for children this Christmas, then do please get in touch. Um, the email address is leek at salvationarmy.org.uk and also our lunch club um, takeaway meals on wheels service is continuing. That is great. Um, our Bible study group is also continuing too and if you want to be part of that do get in touch with us. We, we, we meet over Zoom and we have great discussions. We're just beginning to um, look at Advent now before we break up for Christmas and then also um, we hope to get our band back out on the streets again and Ernie back out selling the war cries as soon as we can after lockdown finishes. But thank you for your giving. Um, it's really kind of you. We really appreciate it. So we just heard our Bible reading just now from the first chapter of Colossians. And um, I came across this poem and it's written by um, a man called Dave Hopwood. And the poem is based around this Bible reading. It's called Reconciled and I thought I would read it to you just now. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. God with flesh on, dressed in our clothes, walking, talking, weeping, laughing, eating, drinking, working, resting. For in him and through him, all things on heaven and in earth were created things visible and invisible. This physical world, the spiritual, emotional and psychological, people, places, planets and personalities. He himself is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the divine bond, the mediator, the prince of peace, the architect, holding the universe, holding people, holding the future. He is the head of the body, the church, this ragged collection of believers, this dysfunctional family, this holy temple, you and I struggling to get along, holding his treasure in these stumbling bodies, these jars of clay. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might have first place in everything. Crucified, dead and buried, the ultimate sacrifice. Resurrected and breathing new life into his followers. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. The compassion, the beauty, the strength, the creativity and good humour. He is the foundation and the finish. Everything that was and will be. And through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things. Whether on earth or in heaven. The cosmos and the countries. The universe and the individual. The people and the planets. Reconciled to himself by the peace made through the blood of the cross of Christ. Well, they're beautiful words, aren't they? And I think they're almost too big for us to be able to contemplate. You know, our human minds struggle very much um, to realise what's going on be beyond the here and the now, the future, the time stretched in ways that we just can't see, history and, and the future and who knows not what, just working up to happen. It's too much for us to think about. So I wonder what words, what words God has got to say to us today through this Bible reading. We look at our world and we see perhaps confusion. 
worry and chaos, despair, tiredness perhaps in this second lockdown, perhaps even a lack of hope, no end to the tunnel, let alone a light at the end of it. But what does God say, I wonder? Well, you know, um, God sees the very big picture. We think about the earth, we think about the universe, we think about the Milky Way, all of those things that are just beyond our imagining. So God is able to take in the long view. You know, God, he's not bound by time and space like we are. So God looks at the world and he sees his plan being worked out. Yes, don't get me wrong. God sees too chaos and confusion and despair. He sees hurt. He sees loss. He sees everything that's going on and he cares because he loves us. But God also does see his big plan and his big plan is centred around his son, Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but it's often, I think, that we think about Jesus who lived and breathed and walked on this earth 2,000 years ago as a normal person like you and like I. And we're going to celebrate his birthday on December the 25th, I think. But I wonder if we ever think of Christ. We have Jesus Christ, don't forget. So we think about Christ and this Christ through whom the universe was created. This Christ who holds everything together, this Christ who became the bridge in some remarkable way between us and God. Jesus Christ, who is truly and properly human and truly and properly God. Jesus Christ, who loves us so much that he died for us, for you and for me. So this is just an inkling of the big picture which God sees. But what does it mean for us today? Well, when we remind ourselves that Jesus holds everything together, that God is working his plan out for us, it does give us the confidence to know that we are not in this by ourselves. In all of this stirring up that we're going through at the moment, this unsettling and difficult and troubling time, we are reminded that we are being held by God, who is with us, God who loves us. You know, we started off today by thinking about Christmas puddings. And when I made my Christmas pudding this year, um, I had a humongous, massive mix of, of ingredients in a very, very big bowl. And stirring it was hard work. It was a lot of mixture to get around to make sure that everything was combined. And, you know, um, when I finished stirring, I had to leave it overnight before I put it into a few um, pudding basins and bowls and things to cook. And um, I looked at the mixture and it wasn't particularly appetising, to be honest with you. But I'm really pleased that when it actually came out of being steamed for all that time, it did look and it does smell absolutely beautiful. So I'm full of hope for our Christmas Day dinner. I'll let you know how it goes nearer the time. And, you know, that I think that that picture is a bit like our lives at the moment. We have mess. We have chaos. It doesn't look appealing. This lockdown is often, I think, bringing the, the, the sharper sides of us to the surface. You know, we grace along with other people sometimes. But yet, when we remember that we are held by God, that he is in control, that he has got everything planned, it's OK. It's all right. It will turn out fine and we can have faith and we can hold on to that at the end of the day that God is in charge. So whatever is worrying us, whatever is concerning us today, let's give it to God. He has big shoulders. He can take what our worries are. So talk to him about it. God is with us and we can be confident to know that everything is held together and God can make everything beautiful in its own time. Well, we've done a lot of thinking this morning, so um, we're going to actually do a bit of listening now for a change. And there is a beautiful song that we're going to listen to just now. It's sung by Matt Woods and it's entitled 
take my life. Use this time to listen to what God has got to say to you today. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my moments and my days Let them flow in ceaseless praise Take my hands and let them move and let them be swift and beautiful for thee take my voice and let me sing always only for my king take my lips and let them shall be your royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour. At thy feet it's treasure store. Take myself and I will be Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he loves us and that you love us just so much that you sent him to die for us. Lord, we're sorry that so often we just don't appreciate that. And we're just sorry for the times when we get things wrong. Lord, please welcome us back into your love again. Please make everything new in our lives and send us out from this place in the knowledge of that to go and do your will and your work. I thank you, Father, that you want us, you want all of us, the good bits, the not so good bits, the bits that we're struggling to make better. Thank you that you take our life and thank you that you have a plan for our lives, that you love us um, too much um, not to have not to leave us as we are you you love us enough to want us to be even more of the best kind of people that we can be I thank you Lord please help us during these coming days Lord these challenging times um, take um, the best out of all of us and so I want to ask for your patience and your love and your kindness and humility and grace to just be within the lives of each one of us as we go through these days. Please bless us. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to finish our worship this morning with a song. 
uh, after that we will say a benediction and listen to a bit more music but this song is number 264 in our songbook my Jesus my Saviour Lord there is none like you it's a real song of celebration let's give God the glory as we sing together <laughs> you for joining with us today it's just lovely to see you do please post um, a like or a comment on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel um, it would be lovely to hear from you and to know that you are watching and so that we can make a connection with you would be absolutely great we're going to finish with our benediction this this is the God we adore our faithful unchangeable friend whose love is as great as his power and knows not beginning nor end. Tis Jesus, the first and the last, whose spirit shall guide us safe home. We'll praise him for all that is past and trust him for all that's to come. Amen. Well, I pray that God will really bless you in these coming days. We're going to finish our worship this morning with a song from the songsters. Now, if you're as old as me, you might remember this one from when you were younger. It's entitled Step Out and it speaks of the, um, the good things planned when we have the confidence to step out in God's love and his care for us. And my closing prayer is that you will be able to step out this week as you go out in God's love and care. God bless you. Step out on the promise, God's gracious promise, that whosoever will may find full salvation and liberation, his purpose is fulfilled. Step out on the promise, precious promise, sealed by love and calvary. Step out on the promise, precious promise, you may from sin be set free. To pardon, God even pardon, redeeming grace will flow. Step out into pardon, God even pardon, this foolish you shall know. God's love is.